most people like the Tesla Semi, but there is a unique public perception about the vehicle's design, and some people refer to it plastic design. In this report, I'm going to talk about from performance to safety, I'm going to address Tesla Semi's unique design and power features responding to a user comment. Welcome back everyone, this is Armin Haraya from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take, take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next report. Yesterday, I published the story about Tesla Semi appearing tough in a rare mirror and how it made a sharp left turn. If you remember, you probably have watched that video. One user made a comment under the Torqueers YouTube channel, which I thought needed to be addressed. Referring to Tesla Semi, the user wrote, it looks ugly and too plastic. And I hope this driver will not go with it into this desert place because if he gets out of battery power, you can only tow it while with fuel semi someone can give you or bring 10 to 20 liters of fuel, while for electric semi or vehicles, nobody would bring you 10 to 20 kilowatt of energy and electricity. What would you respond to that comment, friends? So in response to this user's comment about Tesla semi, I would like to address the concerns raised here and provide information on how Tesla can handle similar situations to avoid them. First of all, when you drive an electric vehicle, you, you know how much range you have and you never push the boundaries. You don't go in the middle of the desert without knowing you can't come back without enough electricity. The user's comment expresses concerns about the appearance of the Tesla Semi, its potential limitations in a desert environment, and the perceived inconvenience of running out of battery power. So let's break down each concern and provide relevant information. First concern, aesthetic concerns. It looks ugly and too plastic. What would you say to this? Aesthetic preferences can vary from person to person. And while some might find the design of the Tesla Semi less appealing, it's important to note that the design of a commercial vehicle like the Semi is often prioritized for functionality and aerodynamics rather than pure aesthetics. By the way, there are at least three different versions of Tesla Semi designs. Have you seen them? I've reported them here. I think they're great. I think they look beautiful. They look innovative and interesting, and Tesla with its semi really stands out. Tesla's focus on energy efficiency, performance, and functionality might influence the design choices they make. This is important to know. Second concern, performance in a desert environment. He says, I hope this driver will not go with it into the desert place, meaning uh, with Tesla Semi into the desert place. Electric vehicles, including the Tesla Semi, can perform well in desert environments. Electric motors are not as susceptible to temperature changes as internal combustion engines. Additionally, Tesla vehicles have advanced thermal management systems to regulate battery temperature which is essential for maintaining optimal performance in extreme conditions. This is why Tesla always tests its vehicles in Canada, in different conditions, weather conditions in the United States, and all the way in New Zealand. While desert heat can impact battery efficiency, Tesla's battery management systems are designed to mitigate these effects. And like I said, if you know you have 50 miles of range, you will not go to desert for 100 mile planning to go be or be on a 100 mile uh, trip, right? Next concern, range anxiety and recharging concerns. He says, if he gets out of battery power, the comment raises concerns about range anxiety and the availability of recharging options in remote areas. Tesla Semi's battery pack is estimated to be around 900 kilowatt hours giving it a substantial range. Additionally, Tesla has been actively expanding its supercharger network, which includes high-speed charging stations across various locations. This network's expansion could alleviate range anxiety by providing convenient charging options, even in remote areas. And the next concern, 
comparing refueling options. He says, fuel semi, someone can give you or bring 10 to 20 liters of fuel, while for electric semi or vehicles, nobody would bring you 10 to 20 kilowatt of electricity. It's important to note that while traditional fuel might be easier to transport, electric charging infrastructure is growing rapidly, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. Tesla's supercharger network, as well as other charging solutions, can provide fast charging options that significantly reduce charging times compared to conventional charging outlets. Additionally, many electric utilities and service providers are working on solutions for on-the-go charging and emergency power assistance, friends. So, while concerns about the appearance and practicality of electric vehicles, particularly in challenging environments, are valid, Tesla has been addressing these concerns through their battery technology, thermal management systems, charging infrastructure expansion, and innovative approaches to charging in remote areas. The Tesla Semi's large battery capacity, efficient energy use, and the company's commitment to advancing electric vehicle technology contribute to its potential to perform efficiently even in challenging conditions like deserts. This is Armin Haraya from TorqueNews.com. Let me know your thoughts on the concerns that I addressed here in this report and let me know them in the comment section below. And if you find this report helpful, please consider giving us a super thanks. I would greatly appreciate it. God bless you and I'll see you soon in our next report. A recent video by Tesla blogger Hendrik Zane shows a new Tesla Semi on the road, citing that highlights just how tough the truck appears through his car's mirror. In the video, Hendrik is driving his car first in the front of the Semi, while someone is filming the Semi through the mirror, and then behind the Tesla Semi on the road. That then watch and see how the Tesla Semi making a sharp turn on the road. Welcome back everyone, this is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And also please send us super thanks if you find these videos helpful and useful for you. So have you ever been driving down the highway, catching a glimpse of something big and impressive in your rear, rear view mirror? I think we all have. Well, imagine looking back and seeing the imposing figure of a Tesla Semi barreling down the road behind you. That's exactly what happened to Tesla blogger Heinrich Zane in a recent video that's making waves in the online community X. In the video shared by Heinrich on his social media account X, which is the former Twitter, and I honestly don't know why Twitter changed it, we get to witness a remarkable sight a Tesla Semi making a sharp left turn with the grace of a ballet dancer. Okay, maybe not exactly like a ballet dancer, but you get the picture, right? It's a large truck, yet it maneuvers with unexpected finesse. As the truck negotiates the left turn, Hendricks raises an intriguing question. Does the Tesla Semi stalker have Tesla Semi derangement syndrome. Now that's a tongue twisting question that sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, but it actually points to an interesting phenomenon. It seems that there is a subset of enthusiasts out there who are so enamored by the Tesla Semi that they're willing to follow it around like paparazzi chasing the celebrity it's a curious case of autonomous driving, automotive driving, and it raises an eyebrow or two when someone sees a Tesla Semi. But let's step back for a moment and talk about the Tesla Semi itself, which is Elon Musk's ambitious take on the future of commercial trucking. You know Tesla Semi isn't your average run out of the mill big rig. No. This huge semi-truck is all electric, which means it's not belching out those black clouds of exhaust as it rumbles down the highway. Plus, it's designed to be seriously powerful, boasting impressive acceleration, even when it's hauling a heavy load. Heinrich's 
the Tesla blogger who captured this captivating moment on a video is more than just an observer finds. When asked if he would consider owning the Tesla Semi as a daily driver, he didn't hesitate with his response, absolutely, he said. And here is a twist that might make you do a double take. He actually regrets not putting in an order for the Tesla Semi during those early days when the deposit was a mere $1,000. Now that's what you call hindsight regret. But back to the question about the Tesla Semi stalkers and uh, their supposed derangement syndrome. Hinius' video sparked a bit of banter among the truck enthusiasts. One voice claimed, chained in and said, nobody else don't stalk Semi. It's a humorous reminder that the Tesla Semi seems to have ignited a level of fervor among its followers that just a tad outside the norm. So there you have it, friend. A video capturing the Tesla Semi in all its good look. A blogger who wishes he just had jumped on the opportunity to own one Tesla Semi sooner. And a quickly debate, quickly debate about the psychology of truck stalking. It's a glimpse into the world of autonomous uh, automotive fascination that keeps us all intrigued about what's to come on the road of tomorrow. And who knows, maybe one day we'll all be glancing in our rearview mirror to mirror to catch a glimpse of the electric semi truck driving behind us. This is Armin Haria from Tortures.com. If you like this report, please give us thumbs up. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. And thanks, Hendrix, for uh, reporting this uh, video. God bless you, everyone. I'll see you soon in our next report.